everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, here's the crowd pleaser, the fan favorite, Danger's Dad, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And I bring up his son, Danger, because every interview Donald now does, he brings it to his son. And he says, maybe before I wasn't motivated by the belt and becoming a champion, now with the son in tow, his eyes are on the prize. We all find motivation in different ways, but across the board, you can see guys, as they get families and have to have children, they can see the motivation physically. He looks at danger and he sees a reason why he should be his very best. He's shown that in his latest run in the UFC lightweight division. Most wins in UFC history, Donald Cerrone. Most finishes in UFC history, Cowboy Cerrone. He will look to add to those totals here in this spot tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Zombo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly. And when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do now. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is gonna look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 16 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay in space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jabbing position. Engaging a single collar tie. Right hand punch. That hand. is how you scramble, folks. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? 
Cerrone's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Double leg takedown attempt. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent relief. A sigh of relief for the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the floor? Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, and that was a violent tap there, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, He's playing chess in the ground fighting, and it showed tonight in this big submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliot is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.